Hey guys. Okay, we were, you guys were talking about the one six two five uh, progression of dominant seven chords. <laughs> You take a look at an A9 chord. We take away the A, and we're left with, which is a C sharp minor seven flat five in the arpeggio. So if you play C sharp minor seven flat five over A7, you're going to get the third, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth. The beauty is when you move this structure up to D minor 7 flat 5, put E in the bass, it becomes an E7 with altered tensions. You get the 3 and the 7, and you get a flat 13 and a flat 9. So that means that I can go 5 to 1 resolution by just taking this structure and resolving it down a half step. You've heard that a million times in the the blues, right? Right? The upper structure is the minor seven. Flat five. So here's how it works for voice leading it through this. One, six. alternating between altered tensions and natural tensions or altered and Lydian flat seven. So this would be normal tensions, unaltered, altered tensions, uh, unaltered tensions, altered tensions. So it just gives you an easy way to go five, altered five to one and it resolves perfectly every time. That's the beauty of it. So when you're superimposing it, say you're playing A7 and you want to go five to one, even when the band's not playing it, you can... Now go to the D, right? resolution every time. So it makes cranking through these blues extended dominance just super, super easy. Makes uh, getting through those dominant chords um, super easy, and it simplifies altered uh, harmony. Now you don't even have to think about uh, the scale. Altered scale is kind of a you know a 
not a natural guitar scale, put it that way, or Lydian flat seven. Anyway.